there really are two issues. The first is that each country is free riding on other countries. So we all hope that other countries will pay the cost of abatement or innovation. Uh, the second issue is with our selfishness with respect to future generation. So we need to change, of course, this norm. But the easiest thing to do in court is to actually uh, make sure that we reach a global agreement. But so far, uh, the policy response to the market failure has been abysmal. We haven't done very much, including at COP21. I think we need two things. Uh, the first is to have a carbon price, which is at a decent level. So use either a carbon tax or some kind of cap and trade, travel emission rights, either way, but at a level which is much higher than now. Only Switzerland and, and Sweden and a bit Norway uh, have a sufficient carbon price. So we need to, to do that. So one thing we need to do is not to exonerate uh, poor countries from that, the emerging countries from that carbon price, but transfer money to them because we need also them to put a lot of effort into, into reducing carbon because most of the emissions, the increased emissions um, is going to come from emerging countries. So we need to be generous and actually through a green fund actually help them finance their growth. Well, it's very important actually to have this, uh, and I'm very glad it, uh, it's happening in Toulouse where we have talent in the domain like TWB, for example. Um, it's important to have both innovation and abatement. And on the innovation front, we, ne we need to actually uh, do what it takes actually to actually save our planet. And it's very important, of course, that uh, European Bio actually is doing its job actually to help uh, to that purpose.